Hello and welcome back. Uh, in my last video, I talk about standard inner product in Euclidean space Rn, and from there we uh, found out the concept of length of a vector in Euclidean space Rn, and from there we have the concept of unit vectors. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to find unit vector in a direction of a given vector. So what is the concept? So we're going to find unit vector. In the direction of a given vector, in the direction of a given vector, say alpha. So, suppose we have a vector alpha. So, in the direction of the vector alpha, we will going to find the unit vector. So, before that, let me recall what is the unit vectors and what is the length of a vector. So, recall that if we have a vector alpha in Euclidean vector equation vector space rn then the length of alpha so length of this vector is denoted by these signs and this is the square root of this is the square root of the inner product of the vector alpha with the vector alpha itself and so this is how the length is defined and unit vector so unit vector is a vector unit vector unit vector is a vector with length 1 is a vector which has the length 1 which have the length which have the length which have the length 1 so that's how the we have the concept of unit vector so that means if we have a vector alpha so that if the length of the vector is 1 then alpha is called same alpha is called the unit vector unit vector so now today what we're going to do so let me give you an example an uh, example of alpha from there we will understand the concept of the unit vector in the specific direction of a given vector so what we have suppose suppose we have we are talking about a vector in R2. So, for example, we have the x axis in this direction, and in this direction we have a y axis. And suppose we have a vector O, o is the origin, and P over here. So, P is suppose length of P is 2, comma 1. So, or just 2, comma 1, just I arbitrarily choose a vector OP, and suppose this is our vector alpha over here. So, what we are going to do, our task is to find the unit vectors in the direction of this given vector alpha, which means we have to find another vector beta. So, first of all, what is the length of this vector alpha over here? So, what is the length of OP? So, alpha is here the vector OP and what is the length of alpha? So, length of alpha is the inner product alpha with alpha. So, square root of alpha with alpha which is basically square root of with it will going to be 2 square plus 1 square so this going to be 4 plus 1 so root 5 clearly this is not of length 1 so alpha is not a unit vector what we going to do we are going to find a vector beta so we have to find a vector beta in the direction of the vector alpha so see in the same line basically in the line or the in the vector or so suppose we have to find a vector beta in the same line but the length of the beta is 1 so we have to find a vector beta with the length of beta is equals to 1 but what is over here beta is the in the same direction so it is on the same line basically so here we have to find such a thing so now if we have a because beta and alpha is a parallel or because beta is a vector which is in the same direction of the vector alpha so beta is the same direction of the vector alpha which means beta must be some constant into alpha so for example let me why what is k over here k is any some real number k is some real number so what we going to do we have to find the value of k so for example if we have k equals to half if k equals to half then we get a vector which is half of alpha 
if k equals to 2, we get a vector 2 alpha. So, you can see that any vector in this line is a multiplication of a scalar k with the vector alpha. So, we have a vector beta because the beta is in the same line as the line of the vector alpha. So, beta must be some constant real number k equals to alpha. Now, what we know over from here, what we are going to do? Our task is to find the length of beta is 1. So, length of beta equals to 1, which means, which means square root of beta with beta. So, square root of beta with the beta. So, square root of the inner product of the vector beta with the vector beta is 1. Now, put the value of beta. So, beta is k into alpha. So, what we get? We get k into alpha into k into alpha equals to 1. So, for now what we know from there? So, suppose what is k alpha into k alpha? Let me talk about that. Uh, how to find the k alpha into k alpha? So, let me erase this part and talk about k alpha, multiplication of k alpha with k alpha. So, what we know from there? So, alpha, because alpha is a vector, alpha is 2 and 1 basically. So, specifically alpha is here is 2 into uh, 1 basically. So, now what is k into alpha? So, k alpha ends 2k. So, it will be 2k comma 1k. So, it is k. So, now what is k alpha into k alpha? So, this is going to be 2k comma k dot 2k comma k. So, this is going to be so, this is component wise multiplication. So, 2k into 2k plus k into k. So, it is going to be 4k square plus k square. So, it will be 5k square. So, now you can see from here it will be 5k square. So, k will be. So, put that value over here. So, if I put this value over here. So, first let me erase this part. So, from there what we get over there. So, here we go. So, we get 5k square equals to 1 and from there we get k into root 5 equals to 1. So, k is our 1 by root 5. So, now what is the vector beta? Beta is k into alpha. So, beta will be k put the value of k. So, it will be 1 by root 5 into the vector alpha alpha is over here. Now, we have already find that out that length of the vector alpha is root 5. So, we put that value root 5 equals to that. So, this will be alpha by root alpha. So, what we going to do? So, for any vector alpha, for any vector alpha, so on the direction uh, unit vector, how to find the unit vector beta? So, unit vector is the vector alpha divided by the constant the length of the vector. So,